Hi, this is Rahul Dulakya and you're watching Bollywood Hangama. Keep watching. You, you spoke about the tussle between uh, Shah Rukh and Nawaz. Um, I find it baffling that when, when you meet Nawazuddin Siddiqui, he, he wouldn't even get noticed like uh, if he's standing in a crowd because he's that uh, that sort of personality he carries. But when you see him on screen, he's like a he's like a dynamite. I don't know what really happens to that guy. He just totally transforms. He transforms and himself you, into. Uh, see, actually, Shah Rukh in the film, no, when hmm. he wears that kajal and his pathani or even uh, his shirts or whatever it is, and he gets into character of Rahis. Yeah. He's quite intimidating. Mm. Okay, so I've seen I've seen other actors and all like maybe a little bit fumble, co-stars being a bit, you know, forgetting their lines at times or, sure. or some because his personality he's not doing anything. Right. He's just being raised. Right. You know, and uh, uh, so that that for but in that scenario, then Nawaz also gets into his character. Mm. And Nawaz, uh, we've given Nawaz a sweater to wear in the film throughout. Mm. So when he wears that sweater. He becomes Inspector Madhudar, you know, and then Nawaz transforms himself uh, mm. into his character, mm. and then the, it's so wonderful to see both of them now uh, played played out uh, uh, on screen, mm -hmm. you know, and unfold uh, each of their lines and their mannerisms and the nuances, uh, which is what makes uh, I think a difference. Sure. Now, as you as you told me that uh, Shiva Chadda is playing uh, Shah Rukh's Ammi Jan because I think uh, considering the, the the promos, the way they have the dialogues, they have become so huge. Uh, so I think her character becomes like extremely extremely crucial as well. And Shiva Chadda, she was there in, in in one of your earlier films in in Parzania, and she was the uh, uh, the voice of reason and and, and sanity in that. Uh, she's she's an extremely powerful powerful actor. We still haven't seen the promos as far as she's concerned. So uh, how pivotal is Shiva Chadda for you? Oh, her? Shiba is uh, see um, uh, is is. Is actually the thought which philosophy which drives race. Mm -hmm. She's not there so much screen time, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, her philosophy actually there because it's the first time when he hears the line that "koi dhanda chota nahi hota hai, dhande se bada koi dharm nahi hota." She mm -hmm. hears it from her, mm -hmm. his mother, and is there like uh, there are women in uh, in race's life who are very supportive of him, sure. and whom he listens to, and whom he looks up to, right. uh, and the most influential is his mother. So, mm. uh, so she is again the voice of reason, or the thought of reason, cool. as far as right. Rais is concerned. And his philosophy of life and business and everything is modeled around this one line. Absolutely. Which is, koi dhanda chota nahi hota. Koi dhanda chota. Okay. And uh, you have Mahira Khan. Uh, she is, yeah. uh, I think, she has become like a huge, huge entity in India <laughs> for for many. And she, she would not have wanted to be in the first place. Yeah. And uh, you wished her on her birthday recently as well. Yes. Okay, and uh, maybe I think we wouldn't, we wouldn't go into the controversies because too much has, has been spoken about anyways. Um, Zalima, she's looking terrific. Even in the promo, I think she's looking extremely simple and, 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 and very uh, very acidic as well. Apparently, you, you, when, when you met her for the first time and you auditioned her, you knew that this is what... Yeah, you, who, who I think, uh, see, uh, we were looking for somebody who is... Uh, who's a a very good actor because she's got some really intense dramatic scenes in right. the film and almost all her scenes are with Shah Rukh. Mm -hmm. So she needs to be a superb actor, uh, whoever the actress was. Uh, we needed somebody who was, who looked, who had that uh, 80s uh, innocence at the same time, the Ada, uh, which existed in a small Muslim ghetto. Sure. Ghetto is the wrong word now, again these days, but mm. uh, small Muslim community, Molla as we call it, okay. half film. So we needed somebody like, who, who could play that part out. Uh, somebody who had to be in her twen late 20s, early 30s. Mm. So, because she's opposite Shah Rukh, so she can't be like 18, 19, 22, 25, sure. you know. So. Sure. so she needed to be that way. At the same time, we didn't want some a very big name in India. Mm. Uh, we needed a very good actress, but uh, somebody who who could pass off this role in a very simple and uh, 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 without complicating the whole uh, equation of actors and this and that. So that's when we met Myra and we auditioned her. Mm. And when I auditioned her, there was something about her which was which I have not seen in many many actresses mm. in India. 
uh, and I thought that uh, she was the right person to play the part. Mm. Uh, honestly, we really didn't care at that time, India, Pakistan or whatever it is, we're not looking at it that way, I was just looking at it as an artist, looking at her as an artist and mm. uh, uh, she was here in Bombay and uh, so I sent a message to Ritesh and Shahrukh that I think we found Asia. that's her name in the film. Asia. Yeah. Okay, and, and, and Asia happened and now, now she's, she's telling Zalema tomorrow. She's starting Zalewa tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, yeah. yeah it's fifth. fifth yeah, fifth, it's, yeah. It's, it's coming out. Uh, yeah. Interesting, I think, uh, Javed Sahib has written the lyrics actually. No, Javed Sahib has not written the lyrics for Zalima. Achha, he no, has not? No, no. Uh, so I think it's written by Amitabh Bhattacharya. Amitabh Bhattacharya has written it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Yeah. The rest of the songs have been written by, by Javed Sahib? Uh, yeah, most, uh, some of them. Some of them are written by uh, some, uh, two other writers. So. Two other writers as well? Yeah. Okay, okay, alright.